yua ilani sontoye bazele du santele koto lianda se prakate ele bese kete lianda oh what a beauty to behold oh Lord Father your glory azima koto lege santele gade lianda zibro kushta yegede a mele bo shante lianda zibro kushta yegede ma zute lege zonto ye bazele du shinta lia ribo sonto lege sente lianda zebra keto lebro sante lege do rabazale kushinte lianda i ma zoto ye bazele du shante lianda zebro kushta yegede mi zoto ye bazele du shante ah father we bless you lord we give you praise and glory master kate yege sekete lianda ina mazika to lege sante lianda zebro kushte yegede ni mazele kushin telianda ze brokushte yegede izane kutolianda ze breke seketelianda we give you praise and glory ali majende legede lianda ze brokushte yegede ah for your faithfulness and your mercy ali bazele kushan telianda ah for your goodness and your kindness o lord father we adore you we bow before your throne we lift your name on high thank you for your goodness o lord father to us o god we call for the intercession of the lord father from the four winds o god Ah, we call them forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We call forth intercessors, O Lord Father, Elabi Sante Lianda from the different nations and continents, O God. Our Father, we bow before your throne, we lift your name on earth, and we say, Lord, be exalted forever. Be exalted, mighty God. Our Father, we are mindful of your kindness to us and to our families. Ah, we are mindful, O Lord Father, of your kindness to us and our children. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege to mount on this Mount Moriah, even to consecrate our children to you. Our Father, may you hand the rest upon them forever in Jesus name our father may our posterity serve you and may our generation serve you forever e la bisante le kushante le gedele de mazuto ye bazele do shinta lianda ze brokoshe father we thank you we thank you we thank you e zabika tele ge sante lianda ze brokoshte ye gede mizoto ye bazele do shante lianda e kato le ge seke te lianda i will distract every distraction on this altar this morning and we frustrate every frustration in Jesus name we say lord let your name be glorified in Jesus name let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus ela bisante lianda zebra kate ela basete lianda zebra kate lianda zebra kata ele buson to lianda e rabasi da kato lianda e rabasu to regada rabayada le basu to legedele do rubo shanta i will celebrate my lord I will celebrate my God, my King. Let his banner be raised and his glory be seen. I will celebrate my Lord. Celebrate my God. I will celebrate my Lord. I will celebrate my God, Jesus. Let his banner be raised and his glory be seen. I will celebrate my God at the mention of your name. Every knee must bow at the mention of your name at the mention of your name at the mention of your name every tongue confess at the mention of your name at the mention of your name hallelujah hallelujah every knee has got to bow at the mention of your name at the mention of your name every tongue confess every tongue confess great is the lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our god in the mountain of his holiness beautiful for situation the joy of the world is mountain on the side of the north the city of the great king is mountain on the side of the north the city of the great king o oh, great is the lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our god in the mountain of his holiness beautiful for situation the joy of the world is mountain on the side of the north the city of the great king is mountain on the side of the north the city of the great king all of the gods they are the works of men you are the only one there is none like you all of the gods they are the works of men 
you are the only one. There is none like you. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Governor keeping God. There is no one like you, Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you, Governor keeping God. There is no one like you, Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you, Governor keeping God. There is no one like you, I am that I am. There is no one like you, Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, Alpha and Omega, Zema Zela Doshante, Enamo Santeliana Zipo Kustegede. There is no one like you, Jehovah Shikenu. There is no one like you, Jehovah Rofeka, in Amuzante Yebasele Dolo Shantelianda. There is no one like you, Jehovah Rofeka. Yes, we praise your holy name, Jehovah Shikenu, Zema Zota Yedare Bosante. Yes, we bless your holy name. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. We magnify you. We give you praise and glory for your faithfulness and your mercy. We bow before your throne. We say, Lord, we surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to him, I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily. I surrender all, I surrender all, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to be my blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender, humbly at his feet I bow, worldly pleasures, all forsaken, take me, Jesus, take me now. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. Make me Savior, holy thine. Let me feel thy Holy Spirit. Truly know that thou art mine. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. Lord, I give myself to thee. Fill me with thy love and power. Let thy blessing fall on me. I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender. Now I feel the sacred flame, oh, the joy of full 
salvation. Glory, glory to his name. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to be my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Yes, Lord, we exalt you. We declare that you are God. We worship you. We magnify you. We say, Lord, this morning, take your pride of place. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Neymar Troop. Welcome to Destiny Altar. This morning, we'll be praying for our children from Proverbs chapter 31, from verse 1 to 9. Remember, on Wednesday, we prayed from verse 10 to 31. But this uh, particular aspect, the verse 1 to 9, is a discourse between a mother and a son. And I thought it was most appropriate to use it to pray for our children instead of just uh, lump it up for marriage. God is invested in families. The reason why he created families is so that we raise godly seeds unto him. May your posterity serve the Lord. May all our children fall in love with Jesus. Amen. This morning I'll be reading um, Proverbs 31 from verse 1 to 9 from the Passion Translation. And it says, King Lemuel's royal words um, of wisdom. These are the inspired words my mother taught me. Listen, my dear son, son of my womb. You are the answer to my prayers, my son. So keep yourself sexually pure from the promiscuous wayward woman. Can you imagine a woman who is considered promiscuous or wayward is the one teaching this to her son? Amen. And so the Holy Spirit can turn anything around, turn any situation around, turn any mess with message. And so here we read her telling her son, King Lemuel, which is, I believe, a precious name uh, or a pet name that she gave to her son. So keep yourself sexually pure from the promiscuous wayward woman. Don't waste the, the strength of your anointing on those who ruin kings. You live to regret it. For you are a king, Lemuel, and it's never fitting for a king to be drunk on wine or for rulers to crave alcohol. For when they drink, they forget justice and ignore the rights of those in need, those who depend on you for leadership. Verse 6, strong drink is given to the terminally ill who are suffering at the brink of death. Wine is for those in depression in order to drown their sorrows. Let them drink and forget their poverty and misery. Verse 8. But you are to be a king who speaks up on behalf of the disenfranchised and pleads for the legal rights of the defenseless and those who are dying. Be a righteous king, judging on behalf of the poor and interceding for those most in need. The Bible says we should speak up for those who are speechless and we should lift up our voice on behalf of those who have been appointed to die. That's the King James Version or the New King James Version that we are you know, familiar with. Um, it's the same thing this morning, but we're just going to go into prayer uh, and, and you know, pray for our children from this, uh, the premise of this scripture and thank the Lord for the privilege to gather together Every Friday morning in Neymar to, to pray for our children. What a privilege. Come on, give him praise. Say, Lord, I give you praise for the privilege to come every Friday morning to pray for our children. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we magnify you. 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 Lord, Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to gather together every Friday morning to specifically pray for our children. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to secure their destinies on this altar of prayer. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Ezami katoli ge santeli anda zi brokushta yagade le brosunto le ge santeli anda zi brokushta yagada. Father, we bless your name. The Bible says in Lamentations 2.19, he said, arise, cry out in the night. <laughs> At the beginning of the watches, pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands to was in for the life of your young children. Uh, the Bible says so, and so we must do so. Let's pray for our children. Let's pray for our children this morning. Let's thank God for the privilege to pray for them. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for the privilege to cry out to Lord Father at the beginning of the watches, pouring out like water uh, to the Lord uh, before the face of the Lord and lift 
lifting up our hands towards him for the life of our young children. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father, because our children will not faint for hunger. Our children, Lord, Father, will not cry. Our children will not faint. Our children will not derail from destiny. We give you praise, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And next prayer point, we're going to say, Lord, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, according to Psalm 100, verse 4. We praise your name. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege to come. We thank you for the privilege to pray. We give you praise and glory. We ascribe all the glory, adoration, and praise to you. And Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus for mercy, for our family, for our foundation, for our children. We come boldly before your throne to ask for forgiveness and cleansing from all personal transgression and ancestral iniquity. Anything that could confound the destiny of our children, we plead the blood of Jesus. That we untie them and we undo them. We love that from every cuts, every cuts of our foundation, every natal cord. We cut it off. We love that this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus for mercy. We come boldly before your throne to ask for forgiveness and cleansing from all personal transgression, from ancestral iniquity. We come boldly because you said we should come. Our Father, we enter into your presence. Oh Lord, Father, we praise, worship, and adoration. And we plead the blood of Jesus on behalf of our seed. We plead for forgiveness on behalf of our children. We plead for forgiveness for ourselves and our ancestral, oh Lord, Father, our foundation. We plead the blood of Jesus over our bloodline, our foundation, our family tree, especially to the roots of God. Our Father, we plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, our prayer number three, we are going to say, Lord, help us to raise royalties from our homes. The Bible says in Proverbs 31, it said, King Lemur's royal words of wisdom. He said, these are the inspired words my mother taught me. And the same is aspired, as expected from us, is required from us. We are required to raise a godly seed unto God, royal priesthood unto our God. I want us to pray and say, Lord, help us to raise royalties from our homes. We declare that our homes become the right breeding ground for kingdom priests. We pray that you fill our mouth with wisdom. Ah, yes, Lord, with the inspired words of wisdom like King Lemo's mother, anoint us with the divine wisdom needed for skillful parenting. In the name of Jesus, our Father, we receive wisdom from you to raise our children. Help us to raise royalties from our home. We declare that our homes become the right atmosphere, the breeding ground for kingdom priests. We pray that you fill our mouth with inspired words of wisdom like King Lemo's mother. Our Father, Lord, give us wisdom and Anoint us with the with divine wisdom needed for skillful parenting at every stage in our children's life, at every crucial uh, stage of development. As they must uh, tell you, and, uh, our Father, Lord, as children, O oh Lord, Father, as infants, as children, give us wisdom to raise them. Our Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, uh, the tenacity, the capacity, the wisdom, O oh Lord, Father, as teenagers, as adolescents, as young adults, O oh God, as fully grown adults, O oh God, we will always, always be involved in their lives. Father, give us the wisdom needed at every crucial point of their destiny. In the name of Jesus, our Father, we pray you will fill our mouth with inspired words of wisdom, and just like you gave the inspired words, oh Lord, Father, to this mother, to give to her son. Our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for the same. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. The Bible says, <clears throat> the Bible says uh, that, uh, <clears throat> The mother of Lemuel said, listen to me, my dear son, son of my womb. You are the answer to my prayers. I want us to lift up all our sons and daughters to the Lord. Let's lift up our children to the Lord. Let's consecrate them afresh and declare that they have listening ears and a quickening heart for the words of the King of Kings. Our Father, we lift up all our sons. And the mother said, listen, my dear son, listen, son of my womb. You are the answer to my prayers. Lord, we pray for all our sons. We pray for our daughters that they are ears will be open. You know that we hear on three levels. On the physical level, the physical ear that you see, the ear lobe that you see, and then we hear on the mental level or the emotional level, the soul level, and then we hear on the spiritual level, three levels, just like three levels of vision. And so I want us to pray that the Lord will open our children's ears, the ears of their mind, the ears of their understanding, the ears of their cognition, their memory, the ears of their intellect, the ears of 
their of their mind where they make the ears of their will ah yes the ears of their emotion the ears of their cognition ah we pray the ears of their hearts open the ears of their heart oh god that they will hear you we consecrate them to you we declare that these ones have listening ears and a quickened heart ah yes not to hear from you we pray that our children have quickened hearts so ah to hear the words of the king of kings the psalmist said in psalm 119 verse 9 to 11 he said how can a man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word your word have i hidden in my heart that may not sin against you lord let your word penetrate their heart let their ears open lord will remove every ear plug from their ears oh god wherever they may be whatever state they may be we ask oh god open their ears we consecrate our children to you afresh our father whether they are infants children adolescents or adults we pray that our children will hear your words in jesus mighty name amen the be part of that prayer we declare that our children at all are not only answers to our prayers you know that every child that we are sought from the lord he has given to us every child is an answer to prayer the mother here said you are the answer to my prayers my son i want us to pray and say lord we declare that our children are not only answers to our prayers but the answers to the prayers of their generation they will remain relevant and operate with the anointing that confers solution at every stage every point of their life in jesus name whether they are children our father lord in nursery school our lord in kindergarten in preschool or their children in elementary school or children in middle school high school our father lord college or the university father we pray or even in advanced studies oh lord father on the job on the go there are solutions oh god even to the church their answers oh lord father in the nation there are solutions in the community they rise as solution and change agencies at their workplace in their generation they rise as a divine advocacy and answer to prayer our father lord everyone who sees our child will say this child is just an answer to prayer ah father we pray every time they see our child they'll say ah this child ah, is a child that one desires in the name of jesus our father we declare that our children are not only the answer to our prayers but they are the answer to the prayers of our generation they will remain relevant they will operate with the anointing that confers solutions at every stage in their life ah, father they will remain relevant in jesus mighty name amen we are going to pray and say father we pray that our children will live sexually pure lives the Bible says in Proverbs 31 3. Can you imagine? <clears throat> a mother who was who was you know no a, a story is most notable because we know that proverbs the book of proverbs was collated and written by king uh, uh, solomon and we know how his mom and dad met he was you know in the midst of a scandal a major scandal that we still have today to read from and his father wrote a most notable poem a prayer of uh, you know penitence to the lord psalm 51 and we still you know read that prayer today we still pray from that prayer today we we still lead many to Christ from that prayer today. So much came out of, you know, that mess. And she's able to teach her son today and say, keep yourself pure from the promiscuous wayward woman. Keep yourself pure. Don't waste your strength. So that means that whole family had come to the understanding of what mistake David and Bathsheba made. And we're teaching it to the next generation. I want us to pray and say that our children will live sexually pure lives. They will all make righteous choices when faced with peer pressure. They will not stumble in the flesh. They will not stumble before they get it. They will not stumble. They will not be numbered among the wayward or promiscuous in their generation. In Jesus mighty name and say Lord, they, say, they will not waste their strength on the anointing and ruins kings remember that we are kings and priests unto our God our father we pray our children will not make mistakes that they will regret in the name of Jesus father we pray that our children will live sexually pure lives in Christ Jesus they will make righteous choices when faced with peer pressure they will not stumble in the flesh nor be numbered among the wayward or promiscuous in Jesus name our father we pray Pray our children will keep themselves sexually pure. They will not make regrettable mistakes. They will not make all of that mistakes. All of that they will not fall into regretful situations. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
they will make righteous choices when faced with peer pressure. They will not stumble before they get it. They will not stumble in the flesh. They will not be numbered among the wayward or promiscuous in that generation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want us to cover our children with the precious blood of Jesus. Come on, cover our, all our children, every child associated with this altar. We cover with the blood of Jesus. We cover all our sins with the precious blood of Jesus. We declare that they will not waste their strength or anointing on the things that destroy kings. They will not offend you, Lord. Now, we they walk in regretful situation. We speak alignment to their divine destiny. We decree that no error is permitted in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we disallow it. The Bible said, if two of us shall agree concerning anything to be done. The Bible said, where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is. The Bible says, if we ask the Father concerning anything, it should be done for us. He said, we bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. If we lose on earth, it will be loose in heaven. Another transition said, whatever we disallow on earth is disallowed in heaven. And whatever we permit on earth is permitted in heaven. And we disallow this. We decree our children's destiny will not derail. We speak divine this death. We speak divine alignment to their divine destiny. No error is permitted in any of our children. No error. They will not fall into error. Yanda, uh, professionally, they will not fall into error. Uh, ministerially, they will not fall into error. Uh, vocationally, they will not fall into error. Uh, Father, we say, Lord, even with their associations, oh Lord, Father, maritally, they will not fall into error. Our children will not fall into error. We cover all our seed with the precious blood of Jesus. We declare they will not waste their strength on their own, anointing on the things that destroy kings. Uh, they will not offend you, Lord. Uh, Father, we pray our children will not offend you. Is we speak alignment to their divine destinies and we decree no error is permitted in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our prayer number seven, we break every territorial stronghold or cosmic power. <clears throat> that may attempt to becloud their judgments uh, in the name of Jesus or influence their choices. Uh, the Bible said there is a power that works in the children of disobedience. It's called the prince of the power of the air. Ah, the Bible says so. He controls those who are operating in disobedience. This power will not op operate in the life of our children. We break every such stronghold, every territorial cosmic power. Hey, la bisante, ah, the power of the cosmos, we break it over our children. Hey, la bisante, any power that may attempt to cloud their judgment or influence their choices, ah, we decree that our children are free from all forms of addiction or manipulation to abuse substance. You will see that the scripture says there that give drink is said to is said to those who are ready to perish. Hey, give drink to those who are terminally ill. He said, give drinks to those who are ready to be destroyed. Our children will not abuse substance, whatever way they present it to them. You see, in the schools now, what they do is they give them vaping pens. They give them vaping pens. Our children have come home to discuss this many times with us. They give them things that, you know, you will not even suspect. A lot of children are, you know, on weed. They are high on weed. Um, the other day I was reading something in the news and it said that, you know, um, this is the highest time. This is the, uh, the, the time where the, 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 the people in America, especially the young ones, have used the highest uh, number, uh, uh, amount of drugs, especially marijuana. Especially my marijuana is now as common as drinking um, um, coke. It's as common as drinking, you know, um, water among the young people because of this, you know, the advent of them, you know, making it, liquefying it, and these children vaping it. You know, they've made it so, and it smells so attractive. It smells fruity. So parents, uh, beware, buyers, beware. Watch out for these things. Watch out for the stealthiest signs. Most of these children are stoned. Can you imagine? Statistics show, you can Google it. I want us to pray. Our children will not fall victim of this substance. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children will not walk into any manipulation or abuse substance. They will not be pressured into evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Father, we pray our children will make righteous choices in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, la bis yanda. We break every territorial stronghold or cosmic power that may attempt to becloud their judgment or influence their choices. We decree that our children are free from every form of addiction or manipulation to abuse substance in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Our next prayer point, we declare that our children will love what the Lord loves and hate what he hates. Uh, with perfect hatred, our children will hate what the Lord hates and they will love what the Lord loves. Uh, what the Lord God loves uh, in the name of Jesus. Our children will not bow to any ancestral altar or worship the idols of this age. Our children will not bow to ancestral altars or worship the God of this age. They will hide your word in their hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Our children will hide your words in their hearts in the name of Jesus. Our children will not be lured to evil altars. Our children will not be lured to evil altars. Let me tell you, sororities, fraternities, all of them, they are worshipping Baphomet. They are worshipping ancestral, you know, they are worshipping the devil. They are worshipping Lucifer. Far be it that we deliver ourselves from ancestral gods, deliver ourselves from foundational idols and deity. And our children will go bow and make allegiance in languages that they do not understand, in Latin, in Greek, and be, you know, avowing their destiny or lives, you know, or committing their lives after they have been consecrated to God, then they are consecrated to idols. God forbid our children will not be brought into damnation because of what is popular among their peers. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that our children will love what the Lord loves and our children will hate what he hates with perfect hatred. Our children will not bow to any ancestral God or worship the idols of this age. Our children will not bow to mammonic altars. Our children will not bow to mammon. Our children will not bow to masonic altars. Our children will not bow to fraternities and, and sororities. Our children will not bow after to any popular idol, whether it's Buddha, Hindu, whatever is popular, new age, we declare our children will not be sucked in. They will hide your word in their heart they will know these things in Jesus' name. We pray for divine discernment for our children. We pray for divine discernment for our children in Jesus' mighty name. We break every hold of fraternity, sororities, and evil machination and satanic design program to draw them into rebelling pattern in their high school and their colleges. They will not fall prey to the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus. Our children are delivered. Our children are kept. Our teenagers, our young adults are preserved in the name of Jesus. Ketale, bro, sante especially when they become independent and they go to college. Our Father, we pray, we break every stronghold of fraternity, sororities, and evil machinations, the brainchild of masonry ah, that they have brought into the school. Do you know how the beer companies, the alcohol companies, uh, you know, they, 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 they lure the, the, the next generation, you know, the devil is strategic in his scheming. They lure the next generation into drinking and into, you know, addictions, especially to alcohol. You see why, you know, many offices, they, they, still, uh, they still keep the happy hour because those people are stuck on those substances. <laughs> because when they were in college, the beer company will go and supply free booze to parties go supply few boots it's it's you know the the statistics are there and you know if you've ever worked for any big company you know corporation like that you know what i'm talking about they supply them free booze when i was in illinois and we did you know studies from the office of statistics we saw these things is there is there for you to see in the research papers is there the beer companies know if they take the booze free booze to colleges can you imagine parents in case you didn't party while you're on campus you you must you can imagine that is what has been done from generation to generation you know many movies in america are based on it you need to know this i want us to pray and declare our our children will not be lured into reveling. Our children will not be lured into partying in the mighty name of Jesus. They give them free boost so that by the time they graduate from school, they're already addicted to alcohol. So by the time they are full grown adults, they live on it. So when they make their money, you know what? They, with the beer company, they are sowing their seed. When they, when they, when they, when these young people become, you know, um, grown adults, they are already servicing, they are already paying back the beer company. Can you imagine? They are already paying back. That's exactly what's happening. I spoke to a young man recently, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an ordained minister of the gospel. And he, he told me, he said, when you gave the word about alcohol, I knew that was for me. And immediately I went to empty the uh, the, 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 the last bottles of beer in my feet, I emptied it into the sink. Can you imagine a pastor? Can you imagine the son of a pastor? This is what the picture looks like in our generation because of college, because they have been inducted into or indoctrinated or inducted into all kinds of things. Uh, they now become addicted to it. They now drink it for leisure. It is not that they are drunken, but this is what is happening. I want us to pray and say, Father, we break the stronghold right now. Every stronghold 
behold every machination, evil machination and satanic design programmed to draw our children into evil, programmed to draw them into revelings and partying in their high school years, in their colleges. We declare they will not fall prey to the snare of the fowler in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not fall prey. They will not fall for the trap, the entrapment of the royal, uh, the royal dainty, the royal table. Remember when Daniel has uh, proposed in his heart in Daniel 1, it is said a proposed in his heart not to defile himself. Our children will not be defiled in the mighty name of Jesus. Ezamika to Leanda Seprakata, a rabbis to Leanda. We plead the blood of Jesus over any one of them caught in the web of pornography, drugs, sexual addiction, rebellion, promiscuity, or prodigal living. Uh, whether they've gone out of the home, whether they've gone to college, whether they come out of college, any one of them caught in the web or the trap, uh, the ensnarement, you know, <clears throat> In the past, you see that uh, promiscuity or any of those things, pornography used to be, you know, the disease of men. But, you know, women are addicted to it. Children are addicted to it. Children as young as five. Can you imagine? Children as young as The minute they can hold any digital device, any device in their hand, the minute they have access to the web, <laughs> the web, the minute they have access to the web, anything, anything can happen. And that's why I always say, parents, beware. Watch your children. Check their devices. Talk to them. Have conversation with them. Pray with them. You know, in my own house, I'm always saying, like, look, expose every evil, expose it, let there be nothing hidden. God reveals it, he reveals it to them, he reveals it to me. I start seeing dreams, I start seeing all kind of things. I want us to pray, parents, this morning, because we are custodians of this destiny and we plead the blood of Jesus over anyone, whether our children are babies or not, anyone. There was a mother that cried to me the other day, three children caught sitting in front of the computer. What are they watching? The oldest one saw pornography on the school bus and brought it to and showed it to the sibling. Can you imagine? I want us to pray and say, Father, any one of them caught in the web of pornography, in the web of drug addiction, whatever, whether it's subtle, whether it's marijuana, whether it's any kind of substance, Father, we break the struggle this morning. We stand in unison, in agreement, and we cry. The Bible says we should lift up our voice on behalf of those who have been appointed to die. Our children will not die. Their destiny will not fail. Anyone caught in the web of sexual addictions, rebellion, promise squeezing, prodigal living, I will declare that they are set free in the name of Jesus, whether they are associated with this altar directly through parents or through intercession, we plead the blood of Jesus, we break the yoke of darkness over all the young people associated with this altar, we command their deliverance from all spiritual prison, we command their deliverance in the name of Jesus from all spiritual prison, we declare that they come out, they walk out, every child, every boy, every girl, every adolescent, and every teenager, oh, say make tell you that every young adult, every full grown adult child uh, associated with this altar uh, that any parent is traveling for, crying for. Uh, Father, we declare that they are delivered, even if the parents are clueless about what's going on in their life. Father, we pray that Lord, in the name of Jesus, they are delivered and it will become a testimony. Uh, Father, we declare that you turn this mess into a message. Uh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, whatever this pain may be, whatever this mess may be, uh, Father, Lord, whatever this pain, turn it to gain turn into power, turn into a scepter in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to pray. We are going to call for the original blueprint of our children's destiny. We call for the original blueprint of our children's destiny. Ah, we ask for angelic oversight over every detail of their destiny. In the name of Jesus, we declare that none of them will derail from the counsel of God. Our children will not derail from God's counsel. We declare that every evil counsel concerning them fall to the ground today in the name of Jesus. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass according to Isaiah 7.7 7, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we call for the original blueprints. We declare that these ones will not derail from the path of righteousness, from their divine destiny. They will not derail. No one will derail them. No Delilah, no Jezebel will, delay them, will derail them. In Jesus' name, we ask for angelic oversight over each of the details of their destiny. Father, we pray that nothing will be missing, nothing will be broken in their lives. So God, we declare their destiny books intact. Nothing will be stolen from their destiny book. We declare that none of them will derail from the counsel of God. We declare that every detail, every evil plan of to, to derail them is scattered. Every evil plan uh, to make this one stumble, fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we pray that our children will not forget justice. Our children will not forget justice. He said in Proverbs 31 verse 5, he said, for when they drink, they forget justice and ignore the rights of those in need and those who depend on, on you for leadership. Our children will not forget justice. Especially for the less 
privilege. They will not ignore the rights of the needy. Ah, we call for change agencies. We call for divine advocacies among our children. Ah, yes, out of our posterity, we declare that these ones are emergent leaders in their generation. Our children are emergent leaders. They will not disappoint destiny. Our children are emergent leaders like Joseph. He was a solution. He entered into primacy at 30. Our children will not derail. Our children will fulfill destiny like Daniel. He rose up even as a student. He was a solution carrier. Ah, yes, Lord. We declare that our children are emergent leaders like Esther. Esther stood out not only as a queen, not only in beauty, but in strength, in fervency, in zeal, in prayer, ah, in sacrifice. She was ready to give her life for the cause she believed in. I want us to pray. Our children will be changed agencies, divine advocacies in, uh, in their generation. We declare that these ones are emergent leaders in their generation. They will not disappoint destiny. Our children will not disappoint destiny. Our children will not disappoint destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want us to intercede for all the children who are terminally ill. He said in verse, in verse 6 to 7, he said, strong drink is given to the terminally ill who are suffering at the brink of death. Wine is for those in depression in order to drown their sorrow. Let them drink and forget their poverty and misery. I want us to pray that all the children who are in the hospital, all the children going through chemo, all the children going through one treatment or the other, all the children going through, you know, uh, bone marrow transplant, all the children who have been sick or appointed to die, uh, all the children going through renal failure, of children, but any uh, any child you know, anyone, maybe you saw them on social media because that is how we need to see in this ministry. Or they have brought their name to you, or they have given the name on this altar. I remember a testimony last year: a mother cried out that the child had um, 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 uh, uh, leukemia. Another one came a few years ago, osteosarcoma, and both children are free today, cancer free, totally free. We declare in the name of Jesus as we bring names of children to this altar. All the ones who are terminally ill, our Father will revive every appointment with death with the powerful name of Jesus we contend for their souls at the gate of destiny we decree released by the blood of Jesus and the Bible said that the name of Jesus every knee must bow and whatever that terminal illness is you are a name cancer you are a name sarcoma you are a name 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 you are a cell anemia you are a name Every terminal illness, every chronic illness, we, con we, we, we submit your name. We subject you to the name of Jesus. We subjugate your name to the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is supreme. The name of Jesus is sovereign. The name of Jesus is high. The Bible says that the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. And every time confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Both things in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. And so we superimpose the name of Jesus over every terminal illness. And we reverse every appointment with death. Because the Bible said we should lift up our voice on behalf of those who have been appointed to die. We reverse the appointment with death today in unison, in agreement. Ah, yes, Lord, we thank you because you said there is power in numbers on this altar this morning. We reverse the appointment with death for any child, for any boy, for any girl, for any young one, any young adult. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. We pray for all the children who are emotionally or mentally afflicted by the enemy. Ah, we pray for them. We break the yoke of depression. We shatter the chains of oppression. Ah, the spirit of sorrow. Ah, we castigate every spirit of happiness, every suicidal ideation. We bind and cast them out in the name of Jesus. We cast them out in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, how can you go into the house of a strong man? Except you first bind, you first bind the strong man. You then, you plunder his goods. Ah, we bind every strong man right now. Every strong man, whether it's ancestral situational, emotional, territorial, personal. Ah, Father, whether I came from media altars, whether I came from the television, whether I came from social media, ah, Father, Lord, every familiar spirit will bind and we cast out now in the name of Jesus. The Bible said he has given us power to trample upon serpent and scorpion, every serpentine spirit, ah, whether it's manifesting as a worm or as a cobra. We bind and we cast out right now in the name of Jesus. You stranger, we command you, come out of your idols. The Bible said the foreigner, the stranger, they obey me. He said before they hear my voice, they come out 
strengthening out of their idol in Lagaze and Ledo Sada. We pray for all our children, anyone that is emotionally afflicted, anyone mentally afflicted, anyone with cognitive delay. We break the yoke of depression, we shatter the chains of oppression. As they bust every doleful, mournful spirit, every meal is night demon, every stranger case salade, a lobby sante lianda separate, a yebe sante lianda. We break your nesting in this one, in this one, sir. whether it's in the spirit, the soul, or in the body. We cast out every spirit of evidence, we castigate you, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death, every spirit of suicide, oh, say, Master Leco Chante Lianda, a Rebe Santa. We bind and we cast you out in the name of Jesus. We declare that these ones are released and set free to serve the Almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We declare. <clears throat> In agreement uh, uh, that you lose your grip over this one in Jesus' name. We declare liberty. The Bible said, when the son set free, is free indeed. Uh, according to the judgment written in John 3, John 8, 36. Uh, uh, it said, the Bible says, so if the son makes you free, then you are unquestionably free. We declare that these ones are unquestionably free. We declare in agreement that you lose your grip over this one in Jesus' name. We declare liberty in Jesus' mighty name. According to the judgment written in John 8 36. We declare the Bible says so. If the son makes you free, then you are unquestionably free. We declare all our children free from every affliction, from every addiction, from every oppression, from every suppression, from every possession in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our next prayer we pray for the heart of compassion and intercession to envelope our children from a young age. You will see that in first uh, in first Samuel chapter 3, from verse 17 or thereabout, you see that Samuel was established as a prophet unto the Lord. The Bible said from Dan to Beersheba, they knew that he was a prophet and he was a young man, a young boy. The Bible didn't tell us his age, but we can guess from when his mother wind him and brought him into, you know, the, 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 the temple to live with Eli's family. I want us to pray that the art of compassion will grip our children. The art of intercession will envelope them in the mighty name of Jesus. My children bring names home all the time. They're like, oh, this person's father is in prison. This person's father is dying. This person's mother is sick. This person is depressed. This one is going through anorexia, you know, bulimia. This one, they just bring names home because they know that we pray for them, we know that we intercede for them. Uh, my child came home and they said, Mom, you know, so and so is missing. They've been looking for her all day, you know, and we pray together uh, within 24 hours. Say, let this child be returned home, let this child come back. Within 24 hours, we found the child. I want us to pray. Say, Lord, let the heart of compassion and intercession envelope our children from a young age. We cancel every spirit of indifference, every spirit of nonchalance to the things of God in their lives. They will fall in love with Jesus. Our posterity will speak up on behalf of the disenfranchised. Our children will plead for the legal rights of the defenseless and for all those who are dying in Jesus' name, our children will speak up, they will not keep quiet. Our children will be a voice in their generation. The, 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 the law of kindness will be on their tongue. They will speak up oh Lord, Father, for what is right. They will not keep quiet. They will not maintain status quo. Our children will be emergent leaders, advocates in their generation. We pray for the heart of compassion and intercession to envelope our children from a young age. We cancel every spirit of indifference, nonchalance. Ah, yes, nonchalance to the things of God. Our posterity will speak up on behalf of the disenfranchised. Our children will plead for the legal rights of the defenseless and for all those who have been appointed to die. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. We are going to pray and say, Father, <clears throat> Raise kingdom general and anointed battle acts from our homes in the name of Jesus. Raise kingdom generals, raise anointed battle axes from our homes, like Daniel, like Deborah, like Moses. You see, these ones were leaders in their generation. They were generals, they were anointed for, 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 for waging warfare in the spirit realm. You see that Deborah brought down the stars of Caesarea. She was able to command the, the, the heavenly courses, she was able to command the angels. The same with Moses. He did so many ex it's in the spirit realm. Everyone knows, even, even, even the Bible says that there is no prophet like him. Even Jesus Christ talks about Moses. Everyone, everyone talks about Moses. Even God brought about Moses. He said, if there is a, a prophet among you, he said, I speak to him in dreams and vision, not with my servant Moses. I speak to him face to face. We know what Daniel did, you know, the prince of pleasure, the prince of Greece, all of them is saw and he waged war in the realm of the spirit. I want us to pray that our children shall be kingdom priests. Our children will be kingdom generals. Our children 
will be anointed battle axes uh, from our homes. This one will emerge as Daniel, as Deborah, as Moses. Uh, let the prophets among them rise. We call for the warriors in the order of Gideon, in the order of Barak, in the order of Joshua. Father, we pray that our children will rise, oh God, as generals in their time, like Joshua, the one that commanded the sun and the moon to stand still. Our Father, we pray, oh God, our Father, Lord Gideon, oh Lord, Father, the one that destroyed the powers of the Midianites and the Amalekites. Our Father, we pray, oh God, our Father, Lord, men like Barak, oh God, generals, oh Lord, Father, in God's army, in the name of Jesus, men like Paul, men like Peter, a lapis Santali, and New Testament generals, in the name of Jesus, our Father, we pray, those who will wage war in the realm of the spirit, our Father, those who will be kingdom priests, oh God, prophets, oh God, a lapis Santali, and intercessors, oh God, change agencies, oh God, hey, Father, we pray that you make our children anointed battle axes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. The big part of that prayer, we declare that our children will not be timid. <laughs> our children will not be timid as they are forming their identity. Remember, <clears throat> that in their young years, in their teenage years, they are forming their identity. And you know, in psychology, they call it identity versus identity crisis in developmental psychology. I want us to pray that our children will form, their identity will be well formed. Look at David, a young lad. I think at the time that he confronted, um, um, he confronted Goliath, he is 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 he spe speculated that he was about a 17 year old. Can you imagine the man, the the boy was operating beyond his years, operating with supernatural maturity, with confidence and boldness. I want us to pray that our children's identity will be formed. They will not be timid. They will not compromise destiny. They will operate with audacity. They will stand out for righteousness and justice. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, our children will not suffer any identity crisis. We declare that our children will not be timid in any way. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not compromise destiny. They will operate with audacity. They will stand out for Righteousness and justice in Labis and take it all under Saprakata. Our children will stand up for righteousness and justice in Labis and take it. We declare our children will not be timid, our children will not compromise destiny. They will operate with audacity, they will stand up for righteousness in Labis Santel Yanda Saprakata, in Labis Santol Yanda Saprakata. They will judge on behalf of the poor in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to pray. The Bible says in Proverbs 31, verse 9, it said, Be a righteous king, judging on behalf of the poor and intercession seeding for those most in need. I want us to pray that our children will judge on behalf of the poor. Our children, Lord, let them become righteous kings. Uh, who we'll judge on behalf of the poor and intercede for those in need. Father, we pray uh, that you release the fire of intercession upon all our homes, all homes represented in the Imantra prayer ministry and our future generation, our posterity forever. The Bible said that is a, 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 a seed. <clears throat> A seed will serve him, a posterity will serve him, and to be accounted unto the Lord for the next generation. Father, we pray that our children will serve you. Our children will fall in love with prayer. Our children will love to pray. Uh, Lord, we pray that our children will become righteous kings, who judge on behalf of the poor and intercede for those in need. We release the fire of intercession upon all our homes, all the homes represented on this altar. Ah, uh, yes, and our future generations in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we declare that every home represented in Amato is a breeding ground for greatness in Jesus' name. Every home represented on this altar is a breeding ground for greatness. Let every destiny be fulfilled according to your precept. Let every family align with your divine mandates in the name of Jesus. You said in Malachi chapter 2, verse 15, that you made them one because you desire a godly seed. There's something that keeps you excited about every family, every home. There's a godly vision you have for every family, just like you saw the family of Abraham and you were delighted in Abraham and you chose to raise a new breed from him. You chose to raise a nation from Abraham and Lord we pray everything you are proposed to raise from our homes oh God. Our Father let us see the light of day, the dream you have concerning all the vision because before, before you formed us you knew us oh God. Father we pray we declare that every home in the Imatru prayer ministry is a breeding ground for greatness. Let every destiny be fulfilled according to your precept according to your books. Let every family align to your divine mandate. That 
that dream that keeps you excited about us, let it find expression in every one of us, in our children, in the name of Jesus. Let destinies be fulfilled, O God, according to your plan, according to your purpose, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want us to pray for every home looking for the fruit of the womb. Father, we pray for everyone looking for the fruit of the womb. Let them receive this special gift today. You said in your word that children are the he said, build children are the heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. You said, like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. And happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. Father, fill quivers here, oh God. Father, Lord, we pray. Ah, fill quivers, fill, fill quivers, oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus that you fill the quivers of those who are looking for the fruit of the womb. Ah, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We stand in unison. Ah, Father, we stand in agreement. Oh Lord, Father, we stand under this corporate anointing and we declare that all those who are looking for the fruit of the womb, Father, give it to them. Ah, Father, Lord, those who are looking for special, uh, specific gender, Father, give to them in the name of Jesus. Those who are looking for specific uh, children, ah, Father, Lord, we pray that you meet with them in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that everyone looking to you, ah, Father, Lord, for the fruit of the womb to receive this special gift today in the name of Jesus. Let today be their day of visitation. Let today be their day of visitation. Let them come back rejoicing like Abraham and Sarah in nine months. You visited Abraham, you visited Sarah according to your word, you caused her to laugh. Ah, Father, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus in agreement with everyone on this altar and we pray for all those looking for the fruit of the womb that they will return according to the time of life with their miracle baby, uh, with their miracle babies in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. Let's give thanks to God for answered prayer. Lord, we exalt your name. We worship you. We bless you for answered prayer. We thank you. We give you praise because you honor us, O oh God, continually. We thank you because our children are a posterity unto you. We thank you because they are advocacies in their generation. Our Father, Lord, divine, O oh Lord, Father, advocacies. They are catalysts of change. Father, we declare that our children O Lord, Father, are change agencies. O Lord, Father, they rise in their generation to stand out and not blend in. Father, we thank you because our children, ah, Lord, they become a voice of righteousness, a voice, O Lord, Father, of deliverance in their generation. They will fulfill all that you have ordained for them to fulfill. We pray that our children will stand out, O Lord, and when everyone is cast down, they will stand out, O Lord, Father, even for righteousness, for justice. Ah, Lord, you said, O Lord, Father, in your word, when men are cast down, we say there's a lifting up. Our children are lifting up, and, and you said in your word, righteousness exalts a nation righteousness exalt our children righteousness become their emblem their identity in the name of jesus they will not suffer any identity crisis they will not suffer any evil negative peer pressure rather they will be in the right company they'll be in the right place uh, in at the right time in the name of jesus our father we pray that they will support their friends to do right and their friends oh lord father how uh, we contaminate them with righteousness not with evil in the name of jesus because the bible says that iron sharpens iron father we declare that our children will be in the midst of righteous competition our Father, Lord, academic competitions, O Lord, Father, athletic competitions, O Lord, Father, our vocational competitions that will make their life better in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, O God. They are in the right company, they are in the right atmosphere, the right, O Lord, Father, our territory in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise because they are kept and preserved in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the Imatu Prayer Ministry. We come here every Monday to Friday on Zoom to pray at 6 a.m. Eastern. And standard time please join us on monday for the for the for blessing the work of our hands on wednesdays for praying for our marital destiny and our foundation on friday for our children as we did this morning every tuesday and thursday we read from the bible and pray for the nation come and join us and you'll be truly blessed our women of substance conference is coming up I was sharing with the woman light yesterday and her face lit up. You know, she was just so excited. We'll be coming together for a tea party luncheon at midday. You know, it's a brunch. It's going to be beautiful. Please come early. Don't come late. It's starting at 11 a.m. prompt. And, you know, there'll be financial, you know, empowerment. There'll be business emporium. We have panelists talking about real estate, talking about, you know, uh, financial literacy, talking about investment tools, annuities, phone monkeys, and all those. And then we'll also be having prophetic activation where we'll be calling women to take their place. You 
you know, in entrepreneurial powers, as nation builders, as family builders, please come. The ticket is now being reduced to $75. You don't have any excuse. I'm sure you spend $75 in a week at McDonald's or whatever. When our family buys a whole meal at like Chick-fil-A, it's like $51. So you can imagine what it is. You can buy this ticket, buy for someone. You know they cannot afford to buy the ticket, buy. We're going to be meeting at the Embassy Suites at Sugarloaf, um, Georgia, 2029, Life Boulevard. Come and join us. If you are coming from out of town, now is the time to grab your last minute ticket. Come and join us. This next month is about a month and a week away. Come and join us. Please register at Eventbrite. I can see that our people, Nigerians, you like last minute stuff. Please don't do last minute. This one, we have a few things that will be given out during the conference and we need money to put it together, the catering and all that. So please make sure that you get your ticket ahead of time. I'm going to start calling people out by the grace of God. And then we're looking for corporate sponsors. We have a few sponsors already. If you can sponsor the event, it will even bring the overhead cost down and we reduce the cost. If you know that you can sponsor this event, please reach out to me um, 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 if you have my telephone number or send an email to me, imantrop at gmail.com. Our weekly prayer on Instagram. Praise the Lord. If you are not following us already on Instagram, please do so. The troop. We pray every Thursday for Nigeria, 5 p.m. Nigerian time, 5 p.m. UK time. Um, if you want to add, uh, if you want to receive ministry updates from us, uh, daily updates on WhatsApp, please send an email. I'll make sure that you are added to the thread. Also, add the telephone number that you receive the text from so that you can see it. If not, it will just go to your spam on WhatsApp. Um, also, if you'd like to share your feedback, your testimony, your prayer request, kindly send an email to neymartroop at gmail.com. Um, if you want to partner with us, you can join us as we take the gospel to the nations. Kindly send your one-time seed or your monthly commitment to uh, um, via PayPal or Zelle to neymartroop at gmail.com or the Nigerian accounts um, displayed on the screen. Let's share the name of benediction. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessings exceed that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of us, all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. See you on Monday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we bless the work of our hands. Bye for now.